Hi, and welcome to another episode of Wonders of Chemistry with Mickey G. In this short episode, I'll be presenting a brief summary of the four stages of macronutrient metabolism, beginning with digestion and culminating with the production of ATP within mitochondria. Now, during stage one, this involves the digestion of micronutrients, and namely proteins, polysaccharides, and fats within the gastrointestinal tract to give their constituent building blocks, which include amino acids, monosaccharides, and fatty acids, respectively. These end products of digestion are then transported across the epithelial lining of the small intestine and eventually end up within the bloodstream. From the bloodstream, they are transported into cells where stage two begins. Here, the end products of digestion are further broken down, eventuating in the production of a common intermediate of the metabolism known as acetyl-CoA. And this occurs within the mitochondria of cells. Now, during stage three, the acetyl-CoA fuels the citric acid cycle to produce high energy electron carriers, namely NADH and FADH2, and this occurs within the matrix of mitochondria. Finally, during stage four, these high energy electrons produced during stage three fuel proton pumps located in the electron transport chain within the inner mitochondrial membrane. This leads to the accumulation of protons within the intermembrane space, establishing an electrochemical gradient which is subsequently used to generate ATP in a process termed oxidative phosphorylation. So as stated, this was just a brief overview of the four stages of metabolism when it comes to the breakdown of consumed food and the production of ATP within our cells. In future episodes, I'll be looking at how each of these macronutrients um, follow specific metabolic pathways in the generation of ATP. So in order to keep up to date with my presentations, please subscribe and, and don't forget to click like if you found this to be beneficial. Thank you for listening.